Welcome to 21st Century Business. I'm Jackie Bales. Every business needs office furniture that will look good and meet their needs. However, gone are the days of the golden ticket when money was no object and high-end name brand furniture could be purchased at will. What's needed today are office furniture products that are feature rich, user friendly, look great, and come in at a sensible price. Here with us is Rob Lazarus, Executive Vice President of AIS, a rapidly growing manufacturer of commercial office furniture that fits the bill. Welcome, Rob. Thanks, Jackie. Thanks for having us. We're excited to be here. Also joining us is Aaron Torres, Marketing Director with AIS. Welcome to you too, Aaron. Thanks so much, Jackie. Rob, first of all, give us some insight into the current state of the office furniture industry and how that's being affected by the economy and the needs of business. Well, coming off an economic downturn, customers today are looking for high quality products at a great price. They also need service and lead time, and that's what AIS does extremely well. We manufacture our products out of Massachusetts. We deliver solutions that really adapt to the workplace today. Hmm. And Aaron, I hear that AIS has quite a history. Can you tell us about that and more about the solutions you bring to market? Yeah, AIS was founded in 1989. Uh, we're based out of Hudson, Massachusetts, which is about 45 minutes outside of Boston. Uh, we manufacture right in Hudson, Massachusetts, so all of our product is um, American made. Um, we offer system seating and case goods, and so basically for those who don't understand what that means, our systems are cubicles, so we manufacture cubicles to outfit offices. Well, in this 21st Century Business Field Report, we'll take an inside look at AIS and their commercial office furniture solutions. I've known Bruce and Arthur, the founders of the company, for about 20 years, and they are entrepreneurs at heart. That's never changed throughout the 20 years they've been in business. Um, so even though they're a you know, $150 million company, that spirit still lives on, and uh, when we need to get something done, we can get it done. We do a lot of custom products at AIS. A large portion of our business is custom. So by listening to our customers and developing those custom solutions, oftentimes those solutions um, go on to be catalog items um, that we fully develop strategically and launch as a new product. And that's the best way to develop products, is something that was real, um, something that was required, it was proven that it's needed. AIS is a place where everyone comes in, everybody's on the same page with what needs to happen and the, the overarching goal of making our customers happy, making sure that they're getting what they need. The people in the factory, the people in shipping, no matter who it is, they are providing customer service and they all know that and it's a culture of people that do what it takes to reach those goals and ultimately will stay late, come in early. The company culture here is driven from the top down. It's, uh, we have an amazingly good time, but at the same time, it's a very high energy, tremendous effort from our CEO down to the last employee. Everyone puts their heart and soul in it every day. AIS has a way of making every dealer, every rep, every end user feel at home, very comfortable, but also keep it very professional. They have a great can-do attitude, they're problem solvers, um, they'll never say no, they're always going to find a way to help you serve your customers, so they're, uh, they're, pre they're pretty unique in our industry. Rob, we talked a little about this, but, but what exactly does AIS do? Well, AIS manufactures commercial office furniture, everything from the open office environment to private offices to seating and to filing. We've been doing this for about 25 years, and we're one of the leaders in lean manufacturing. In lean manufacturing, what is lean manufacturing? So lean manufacturing is a process that eliminates waste. We eliminate waste every step of the way, doing things as efficient as possible. Mm -hmm. Now, Aaron, how does AIS differentiate itself from the competition? What makes AIS unique? Uh, basically, AIS, we manufacture um, furniture that hits a lower price point. So. Since we hit a lower price point, we tend to attract many buyers. So I think that that makes us different than the competition. Another reason that makes us different from the competition is really um, the makeup of our company and the people that work for our company. Uh, we hire people that are really passionate about what they do and that passion really translates into success for our business. Mm. She just talked quite a bit about AIS's people, Rob. Tell us how your teams shape your organization. Well, Jackie, you know that most businesses are brick and mortar facilities, but companies are built from people. Mm -hmm. And our teams are remarkable. We have the best manufacturing teams. 
We have great administrative and sales teams. The marketing team, everything we do is really based on our people, and they're quite quite phenomenal. Mm. And are you doing design in-house as well? We do. We uh, both design and engineer our products as well as the workspace. So we assist in that process of making sure that our solutions really work. AIS is a very passionate company, uh, and we have very passionate continuous improvement. We focus on that. Uh, we drive excellence in everything we do, and we try to exceed our customer expectations in, ev in everything. If I had to put it in one word, it's passion. It's the culture that we have that we try to build day in and day out through this entire organization. One of the biggest ones, deliver on what you promise. We uh, had a dealer down in Florida who was missing screws for a part of their installation. It was at the end of the day and the factory was closed down and this person literally walked downstairs, found someone to help them pick the product, boxed it up, drove it to a FedEx location and got it overnighted for the customer the next day. The people at AIS are amazing. I walk through the door when I'm in town. I have yet to be the first one here. I've never beat our CEO through the door as much as I try. And when I leave, the building is still full. I think more so in, than in other manufacturers, even of our size, um, dedicated people is extremely important. Um, and that's the key to our success is the people. Basically, whenever anybody calls, they get a very happy voice on the other end. Whether it's myself or anybody else that's filling in, they, there's definitely a smile behind that phone. I really believe the, the AIS passion is about growing. And that is something that I bring to work every day. And I, and I show it to my employees. So when they see my dedication, when they, they see my workmanship, they take pride when they see me pushing cars, when they see me hanging parts on the line. And they say, if my boss is doing that, then I'm going to do it too. And that's when you really get a productive factory. AIS is a very innovative organization. It's a good relationship. We call them with an opportunity or a deal. You know, we can get to Bruce Platts and the president very quickly, get them on the phone. They'll work with you for a creative solution for your client. A lot of other manufacturers, you got to go through multiple layers of management. Um, the responsiveness is much slower. Whether you need to have a product that needs to arrive tomorrow, we need to come out to pick it up. We need to have one of their folks come to our site, come to a meeting. Um, throughout the entire organization, they want to do whatever it takes. AIS is caring. Committed. Unique. Reliable. AIS is our people. Erin, what are the current trends in the industry? What are you seeing out there? Yeah, I think there's, um, right now there's a lot of trends uh, happening. Um, the gen wires are really changing the office landscape. Uh, what people would think of traditional office furniture in terms of high walls and a six by six cubicle station, that's really changing. Hmm. Um, gen wires are able to work in spaces that don't require a lot of privacy and they encourage collaboration. So what that's doing is it's changing what office furniture looks like today. So in some cases you can see that people actually will work it along, we call it a benching station, with um, you know small um, barriers between them to give some privacy, but overall it's nothing like what traditional furniture um, was in the huh. past. To what do you attribute that? Is it like they're used to Starbucks? <laughs> I mean they, they are, they're used to Starbucks, they're, us they're used to being able to work with you know their, their iPods on at their computer at a coffee shop with a lot going on, they're able to absorb a lot more information and they're able to output more than uh, any generation to date. So um, they're really a learning generation and, and uh, really about collaboration as well. So we're learning a lot by looking at that generation, which is really up and coming. Hmm. So Rob, what are businesses doing to accommodate this new style of work that Aaron's talking about? Well, they're learning about this new workforce. They're listening and they're adapting their facilities to attract those people. As Aaron said, they work differently. They're used to much more open office, collaborative environments, and businesses today are really embracing that, and they're learning from this workforce. Recently, AIS was called upon to do what they do best, outfit a business with their innovative, sustainable office furniture through a custom-designed build-out. With an emphasis on ease and simplicity, AIS sells and distributes their products completely through a nationwide network of hand-picked office furniture dealers. Treated as part of the AIS family, dealers work closely with their client, personally walking them through the complete design and build-out process. Key to the smoothness of the process is the close relationship that AIS has developed with their dealers and regionalized design teams. Through a direct and ongoing connection with the dealer and AIS design team, 
A client, such as this South Florida business, enjoys the AIS hallmark of personalized service and design, coupled with amazing products. Throughout the entire design and installation process, customers have the assurance that every nuance of the build-out will be dealt with, that problems are quickly solved, and that the experience of unparalleled customer service and satisfaction are guaranteed. If there is one thing that has become routine and perhaps even ordinary for AIS is the fact that the completed installation thrills their clients. AIS's commitment to treating their employees, dealers, and ultimately their customers as family, coupled with a streamlined installation process of their attractive, cost-effective, sustainable office furniture, has positioned them as the go-to industry leader. So what would be the difference, for instance, between an older person's workstation and a Gen Y workstation? Sure. What would well, that look like? 20 years ago, everybody was in a cubicle, 66 inch high panels, five panels around you. It was a very isolated kind of work environment. Today, they're much more collaborative. These folks, these, this new generation, they're used to working side by side, and they're really understanding how to be effective in that kind of environment. Hmm, it sounds like workers are sitting closer together so there's better use of space. Is that better for the offices and for the furniture industry as far as costs go? Sure it is. Real estate's extremely expensive, and companies are looking for higher density while still giving a flexible kind of workplace. So it is important that you balance those needs. Yeah, and I, I think the reality is, too, a lot of people, we're in a very paperless world. So, you know, the use of extensive filing systems is no longer required. So a typical station that might have a lot of filing cabinets, you no longer really need that. You really just need a place for people to plug in their laptops, be able to have power at the desk height, and just, you know, have a place to put their purse in their running shoes. That's more of what people are, you know, doing in their workstations today. So, Erin, you also mentioned technology earlier. How does that impact furniture? Uh, it really impacts furniture because you want to think about all the things that you might carry that you need to plug in. So you have your laptop, you have your, your phone, you might have your iPod. You need to have access to power easily and quickly without having to climb under your desk. So one of the things that we try to make sure we're able to provide is you know accessible electrical outlets and data as well. So for example, with our matrix system, we've designed that system to allow electrical and data to run at every eight inches along the panel frame so basically whatever height you need electrical or data we can we can do that so above the work surface beneath the work surface um, even in overheads we can we can provide that wow very flexible and and rob what about environmental concerns how does ais address that that's a great question jackie so sustainability is very very important to ais as it should be for all manufacturing entities First of all, AIS is a carbon neutral company. And what that means is we did a life cycle assessment on our carbon footprint. The first year we had about 4,300 metric tons of greenhouse gas emissions, mm. carbon emissions. So we offset those with sustainable environmental programs that allow us to offset the carbon footprint. So we have three projects that we invest in. One of them's in China and it's a methane capture facility. Oh, wow. And if you don't know, methane is one of the most potent greenhouse gases, about sure. 20 times more potent than carbon dioxide. So we have a coal mining operation that has a generator sitting on top of that, and that turns the methane that's emitted into renewable energy. So that's something that we're, we're very passionate about. Wow. Another thing we do is we have a take back program for all of our products. When they're at the end of their life cycle, we can bring those products back in and give a customer credit for returning that product, keeping it out of the landfill. At that point, we donate it to local charities. Um, so the sustainable side of what we do is very, very important. And we take it very seriously. Wow. wow. Okay. Also, I would say that um, AIS is offering contains 40 to 55 percent recycled content by weight. So all of our systems line, um, our products contain 40 to 55 percent recycled content by weight. And additionally, our systems have been tested to meet strict indoor air quality standards. Um, we offer a product that's SCS Gold certified, which basically means our product has been tested to ensure that it doesn't 
doesn't um, compromise human health with any um, unwanted VOCs or toxins in the furniture that could get into the office landscape. It's very important to us that we can offer a product line that has a high recycle content and something that we can stand behind and know that it's safe for um, today's workers. I know that indoor air quality issue has gotten a lot of attention now from mm -hmm. off-gassing from certain types of products in indoor environments. Yeah, That's absolutely. Absolutely. Now, Erin, I know AIS has also received some pretty decent awards and recognitions. Can you tell us about those? Uh, yeah, I think one of the most important awards for us is our um, the award from the um, Office Furniture Dealers Alliance, where we've actually received um, an award for being an outstanding manufacturer of the year, and that's actually voted on by our dealers. So wow. we've been recognized for the last five years continuously, and that shows our dedication to our dealer community, and um, it shows our, our level of products we can provide and, and the service we provide. Uh, we've also uh, won awards for being a lean manufacturer. The Shingo Prize um, is basically the Nobel Prize for manufacturing. And we've also been recognized by Industry Week as one of the top 25 plants in North America. That's impressive, really impressive. So Rob, if you were to give advice to someone who's in the market for office furniture, what would it be? Well, first of all, do the research. Look for value, look for quality products, look for high service levels, but understand what the furniture needs to do for your work environment. No longer do people work in the furniture that's the same for everybody. The furniture has to work for you. So do your research, look for the best value, and of course, call AIS. Of course. Well, it sounds like AIS is really perfectly placed and priced for the commercial needs of today's offices. So thank you so much for sharing all this with us. It's very interesting. It's been great. Thanks, Jackie. For 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. Thanks for watching.